Hello everyone, back to my channel again and thank you for logging in, first of all. Uh, we are today going to do a vlog over makeup. I'm not claiming to be an expert because I'm not, but I would say flying for 15 years as a flight attendant, I've learned the tricks and I could give you probably some tips which would be helpful for you to do your own makeup. This is going to be a very basic makeup uh, for a day look which you can use uh, on a daily basis if you're stepping out for a coffee or going out in a casual day. Um, again, with the kind of hairstyle you would do, I would show you like a small, um, um, I will, I'll dedicate like a few minutes to do a very basic hairstyle for your cabin cream interview if you are planning to go for one. And um, you would see that the same makeup, you can transform it into a night makeup with a little bit of addition and just a little bit of tweaks. And to be honest, you don't necessarily need, uh, oh, I don't have a primer or I don't have um, uh, a blush or a rouge or uh, eyeshadow or whatever you know you can you can use your eyeshadow as as your blush or, or you could just there are so many different options you can mix and match and you can uh, mix up many things and you can use it for different parts of your face and it's absolutely fine the end result is still gonna be fabulous I, I can assure you that so without further ado let's get started with our makeup today so anyhow, this is how my face looks like with no makeup. I literally just washed it and tied my hair up, um, though they are a mess, but uh, please ignore that. I will show you what I actually um, apply the first thing in the morning after I wash my face because I do tend to get a bit dry over here, but I do have a T-zone which you can clearly see. Uh, I do have this part and this part which can get really um, oily uh, though over the years the, my skin has changed and um, I do have the t-zone but not very prominent so this part and this part can be really oily and the rest here can be a bit dry here can be a bit dry it's just the way my skin has always been so this is when I use when I think uh, it's it's a bit uh, warm outside, it, my skin tend to get oily, I don't want to clog my pore. It really comes in handy because it has tea tree and it's very light. Um, it is a good base for my makeup because I feel that none of us should ever make ever wear makeup or without any moisturizer on their face um, this is what I use when I think um, it's a bit dry weather it's a perfect repair serum nine repair serum enriched with nine types of precious JJ oriented botanical active ingredients I will list it all down below so today I feel that my skin feels a bit dry so I'm gonna go for this um, and just like a small pump in my hand and around my palms and of course upward motions always around my eyes I want to break a few myths about under eye creams and uh, about um, you know a cream skincare design for different parts of uh, areas of your face I don't really believe in it because eventually everything is a moisturizer uh, as long as you keep your skin hydrated clean and eat healthy it will I think it, it does tend to respond to that and you will see a healthy glow on your face and it's just a barrier a protector against um, makeup um, pollution so yeah I do believe in creams but I don't believe necessarily in eye creams because uh, if you do see uh, I've never used an eye cream I mean I did try to for a very short period of time until I realized it doesn't really make any difference to my skin this a bit of a discoloration which you can see here is is actually um, I had a accident I <laughs> I mean as uh, I actually um, opened the door in a 
I, I don't know where was my head I opened the door on my face and I got like a, a scratch I would say uh, so yeah it has reduced to this and it doesn't help that I do also have a vein in underneath so it does look a bit funny um, this is a pimple I just had very recently so uh, my skin is not perfect definitely you can see that I do have something coming up over here as well and um, yeah like for my eyes okay if you actually look around my eyes I I don't have like even though I'm brown I really don't have like dark circles at all um, I have never really used any eye cream and this is this is the way it is it could be genetic but um, as you grow older you do see discoloration in different parts of your face but I'm a believer in uh, if you do a proper routine if you have a good lifestyle if you eat healthy if you take care of your skin um, and um, you know understand your skin it does help a lot it does respond to that and uh, have a healthy mindset as well at the same time so mental physical uh, well-being is very important um, as long as you take care of all of these things so rest everything else is just a cherry on the cake um, so today we are gonna do uh, basic makeup and um, this is the kind of makeup which I would use every day pretty much and when I'm going for work uh, I will try to keep it very minimum as well because we do have long flights and uh, it's best not to cake up your face because it needs to breathe and um, in a long run it's always always good of course I do heavy makeup and I do the smoky eyes and like variation in it but that's for different occasions and different times I will definitely make a vlog on that as well but today we're just gonna do very basic I'm gonna start with um, Bobbi Brown um, foundation I'm just gonna spread it around my fingertips make it a bit warmer it goes um, it applies to your skincare as well you know what they say you take your product of course my hands are clean and you clean your hands and all of that uh, you take your product and you just warm it up a bit on your fingertips and then apply on your skin because it spreads better it does help a lot in how you are able to apply the product on your face it does save a lot of product as well and as and when you need it you can just take a bit more again warm it up on your fingertips and apply it everywhere uh, okay I uh, use my fingertips to in my makeup all the time because it does help gives me a lot of control on the areas I have to reach under my eyes over my eyes around my eyebrows on my forehead around my cheeks and jawline and pretty much everywhere so this is my base you can already see that it has evened up my skin a lot already and like I said we're gonna do very basic very minimum today and if you like if you're the kind of person who likes to build up your foundation you can definitely take some more maybe take your brush and then build it up on your skin because of course uh, that gives a very um, a glam look as well but this like I said I'm starting from the day and we will um, we will see how we transform the makeup uh, for the evening as well and uh, this kind of makeup suits my work so it's best for me to do it this way and keep it very minimum so once you're done with the foundation which I'm done and I will just check if it's been it's, it's if it's even if I do see any um, like spots dark spots or anything popping up I will just try to conceal it with uh, this spot corrector I have it's YSL I will again list it down it's number five um, so like this friend over here needs a bit of a coverage so again with my fingertips I'm just gonna blend it on there you go and it's done it's covered so 
for people who needs a bit of eye co under eye coverage, uh, they can use this concealer. I do use a concealer as well because it kind of pops up your eyes, pops out your eyes and your eye makeup. So today, well, I have NARS, which is when I'm a bit darker, when I'm out in the sun a lot. But this today I'm going to use um, caramel Sephora. Uh, concealer just under my eyes again you will see me evening this out with my fingertips okay I don't know if I forgot to mention that I am 35 years old and though I don't have for a brown skin girl I don't have um, dark circles but I do have imperfections under my eyes and it's it's good when you have a concealer like under eye concealer to just make it more even and perfect highlight your forehead your nose a little bit over here as well you can already see your face looks looks flawless with this and this is all with my hands um, I am saving a lot of product when I'm using my fingertips because when you're using a brush honestly it just stays a lot on your brush and eventually you'll wash it off or it's just for me it doesn't work that way so you're done with your foundation uh, you're just gonna take your brush uh, for powder I like to use the brush because it does help a lot when you're using a brush of how it evenly spreads obviously to set up your foundation Of course, I'd applied my foundation on my neck as well, so we'll set it up over there. Okay, so there you go with your foundation. So as you can see, my face is already uh, set with the foundation and the powder and it's a good base to start your makeup. Uh, I'm going to start doing my eyebrows now because um, they are not perfect, of course. I'm trying to, kind of try to even it out. I'm using this um, Tips Brow Tint. It's, it's, it's not a tint actually, it's more like a brow pencil. Um, sorry, brow brush, which has a tint in it, uh, with this, oh, I don't know if you can see it, to be honest. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but it, 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 it looks like this. It has a small brush, so I have to shake it up a bit, because <laughs> I've been using this product for a while, and yeah. All right, it's fine. So I'm going to just fill up my eyebrows with this. And try to even it out. Well, I have filled in my eyebrows with the uh, eyebrow tint brush. And uh, I'm just gonna fine-tune it with my mascara this is again another tip which I'd like to tell people when they're out of the products since I'm not traveling it's been more than almost three weeks now that I haven't been able to go and get my products uh, because I do get it outstation usually um, and uh, I just wasn't able to so I make do with this I'm gonna use the 
mascara for to set in my eyebrows and also to fill any gaps if left and you would see that it does give that stroke effect and it will keep it in place also otherwise you can use the benefits eyebrow kit usually that's what I use I'm just out of it at the moment but you can see the eyebrows are pretty even at the moment I just need to trim it over here a bit because they tend to grow um, I don't know I don't know more than faster than it. let me just try to trim it a bit okay so my camera is also my mirror so I am ho I'm hoping that I'm not doing something crazy with my brows yeah to be honest guys like you know I, I do my own eyebrows I plug them just the extra ones over here on the top and I just leave them as it is I don't do anything with my brows um, or uh, I never honestly go to even salons I, if I have to go to a salon I would do it for relaxing like a head massage a, a face massage or back massage or uh, foot spa or something like that but I don't necessarily go for threading uh, I do definitely go for haircuts but that's pretty much it I like to do everything by myself because I was working with L'Oreal franchisee um, back home in India and it was a, one of the biggest franchisees over there and I did learn a lot of how to how you can actually do your own things you know you don't really need to go to salon every time to do um, small facials or prep up your skin for a big event or even for your makeup or um, threading or um, if you I used to do my own waxing as well and then I just ended up doing laser a whole body laser so I don't have to worry about that part thank God for that um, but I used to do my own waxing all over the body honestly it's very easy if you really want to uh, know anything about that of course uh, drop in drop in any questions if your eyebrows are done uh, we can go and start with our eyes so with eyes we're gonna start with my fingertips again I just like to give it a good base so it looks a bit lustrous and shiny luminous actually so I just put this as a base which is urban DK um, yeah it's virgin eyeshadow urban DK I will again link it down it just gives me that um, luminous base for my eye and then I always always use a warm color in uh, for now I'm actually using uh, love joy blush as my shadow because I love this color you will see I will uh, actually highlight my face with this so I take a very little bit like this and spread it around my eyes again my fingertips gives me a lot of control on how I apply my makeup so there you are you can already see the difference of how natural and warm it looks There we go. 
Okay, I have this standing lamp over here, which kind of gives a lot of light on this part of my face. So this part and this part looks a bit uneven. Unfortunately, I'm working with uh, daylight and just a lamp on left hand side on the side of my uh, camera. So I wish I could show you like this, but then it doesn't help me the way I'm sitting. So eventually I will show you my makeup facing daylight and also the mm, artificial light it's very difficult to talk and do things at the same time because it you know it doesn't help me think properly but there you go that's the base I would do for my eyeshadow and then I still have some product left on my fingertips so I will try to use it here There you go. Everyone's nose is a bit different. So I don't believe in drawing lines, to be honest. I will just go with what I think looks best for my face. And it's definitely on the sides of your nose. You can just contour it a bit. Yeah, you can contour it like this. And um, yeah, it makes it a bit more... Uh, I don't know, it just gives a nice look. I don't like to make it sharp, I love my nose. It's it's nice and cute and small. Uh, but yeah, that's just a way to contour it. And it does look nice, it looks, it works for me. Oops. So then I will take the brush and try to contour my forehead. I could do this with my hand for my eyebrows, but I'm just using a brush this time. And under my jaw. So now just under my cheekbone. Yeah. Alright, there you are. Just go on the neck a bit and if you like to go on your shoulders so that's that with the contour so with the eyes we're gonna play a bit more I'm trying to use this shadow it's a Maybelline palette I like it because it has this lilac color it's 03 gray pink it has um, I will show you now it has these colors in it which I really like the lilac and the gray and the coal color but now I'm just gonna try to use the lilac uh, on my eyelids Alright, then 
Once I'm done with that lilac eyeshadow, I'm just gonna take more of my contour and put it on the sides of my eyes. So it does define them a bit and then gives this blended, nice, finished look. That's it. Just under the eyebrows, I'm gonna put a bit of a highlighter. The Celio, I got this from Korea as well. It's just I love the way it looks it's like a champagne color I don't know if you can see it properly it highlights very well under my eyes and give it gives this the glam look which I love it's got a bit of a shimmer again I'm using like a very subtle way you take the product off of, of the fingertips and then just blend it out under your eyebrows. That's it. Every time you're using your fingertips, just a small tip, keep like a tissue next to you. But see, I barely have wasted any product uh, from my finger onto this tissue as opposed to when you use a brush. It does waste a lot of product. So there you are with your eyes. So I'm literally making do with whatever products I have and whatever equipments I have. I don't have the right brush for this, but I just took a very little product uh, from here and trying to even out everything I've done on my shadow, uh, yeah, on my eyelids. So there you are. This is just to even out everything and gives a lot of shimmer and shine. And still you can see the the contour, you can see the highlights and uh, yeah, it looks very natural to be honest. When you're going out, it looks very, very natural. You can you can wear this look in the daytime. It looks fabulous. And also you can turn it into an evening too, like I mentioned before. So once that's done, I'm just gonna use mascara to finish off the look. You can try to use like a blue eyeshadow you can use whatever you like to be honest it's it depends on the clothes you're wearing um, I can I can wear like a black or a white or nudes or a colorful outfit with this and just change my lip color and it will transform the look completely uh, or you can do like a bold eyes with blue or I don't know purple or fuchsia and keep your lips nude and it will still look fabulous depends you know you just it's it's all about how you put your look together from your hair to your eyes to your lips to your clothes it all depends there but like I said today we're just gonna do a basic look and it works very well for my work as well I'm gonna do my mascara now so of course Different people have different ways of applying the mascara. I don't have a curler at the moment, so I'm just gonna use the brush to set them, give them a lifted look. Let me finish this off quickly and I'll show you. So I'm done with my mascara and um, 
I will show you the mascara I used. Okay, I finished uh, applying my mascara on the bigger mirror because I'm using my camera as my mirror and it's very difficult to apply mascara. So I had to go there on my bigger mirror. But I don't know where I can... Okay, here. So that's the mascara I use. It's the L'Oreal Curl Impact Collagen. Honestly, it's dried up. And I'm so embarrassed that I'm doing a makeup tutorial with no proper equipment, um, using my contour as my eyeshadow, and yeah, using uh, like random brushes for different things. But honestly, you will see eventually it turns out to be all fine and it, it looks fabulous. Um, this mascara is a bit dried up, but I somehow, I mean, it's not dried up, but it's getting over. My products are getting over, so it wasn't very difficult, it wasn't very easy to apply it. But I somehow managed to do a decent job with it. I don't have a curler at the moment, but I do, once I'm done with my, uh, uh, mascara, sometimes I just try to lift it up with my fingertips just when it's about to completely dry up don't do it when it's wet because it then it will just bleed and then it will just smudge everywhere this is once you're once you're done with your mascara you can you give it like a couple of minutes and uh, when you know it's setting and it's almost dry then you can just do this because then when it completely dries off it kind of sets into the shape so it's like a small tip again which we all do um, we're not allowed uh, eyelash extension when you're going to work so this is without eyelash extension and it still looks nice it uh, your eyes look awake um, and I think it looks pretty um, so yeah I forgot to apply my blush so I'm using the Bobbi Brown blush uh, it's nectar 11 again I'm gonna use the same brush I just use this small tissue to kind of wipe off any leftover product which I don't want to mix it up um, and I'm gonna use the same brush to give some color to my cheeks because I used um, the Mac Lovejoy a58 for my contour and this Bobbi Brown Nectar 11 to give it a bit of color that you apply on the apple of your cheeks yeah so that's that now to prep our lips I'm just gonna use Laneige it's actually a lip sleeping mask, but I do like it, how it feels on my lip, even on a daytime. And my lips do tend to get very dry, so I have to wear this in the night and anytime during the day, it works perfectly fine. Or I sometimes just apply this Bird B. Uh, lip balm it works fine as well so yes my lip feels moisturized since I've used the uh, lilac palette on my eyeshadow for my shadow eyelids I'm gonna use the urban decay violet cream lipstick Maybe a bit nude for my face but it depends on what kind of look are you going for I said that I'd like to go um, I'm going for a day look so even though my eyes are a bit um, luminous um, and I have put mascara and done the contour and the blush and everything but even if you go out with this makeup it looks fabulous during the daytime and if I have to just turn it into something for the night I um, I, I would say I would use something more more warmer this is Bobbi Brown bittersweet lipstick 
I will show you how it looks like. I just apply it on top of that because it's like plum and that was lilac. Cabin crew, flight attendants are notorious for mixing products and lipstick, honestly. And trust me, it gives amazing results because um, I've always believed in uh, mixing and blending even in my perfumes I mix a lot of perf not a lot like at least say two perfumes and uh, it smells amazing I've always got compliments I've been flying for 15 years and I've always always done that and I always got a lot of compliments whenever I've done that um, it works fine for me but I'm, I'm not saying that it suits everyone each to its own um, so this is almost my finished look for a day so in the evening you still want that um, you know like a bit of a darker lipstick because it does show off very well or you can use something more brighter or darker like this it's Sephora I'm sorry the um, the number is washed off of this but I do have another one probably I can get the number from there and I'll link it below uh, by the way, I forgot to do my highlighter for my cheeks and um, I don't think I have, it's in my drawer, the palette is in my drawer, so I'm just going to use Prism. This is again for the night, okay, so the champagne color which I showed, the eyeshadow, I'm just going to use it on top of my cheekbones. I've cleaned the brush with the tissue I had. I'm going to apply it. Over my cheekbones. You can see it now. take some with my fingertip again and highlight the bridge of my nose you can see yeah that's that and this could be um, for the night because it looks very nice I'm just gonna try to wipe off a bit of the lipstick so I can show you how it looks like when you wear a darker lipstick with the same eyes and the same face. So this look can be for the night and um, there you go. This lipstick can go so nice on a LBD or a, um, uh, if you're wearing all white, it looks beautiful. Uh, and if you want to transform your eyes from the day to night just to match this lipstick and you want to go a bit more glam, you can use a bit of eyeliner. I'm using the Body Shop liquid eyeliner just to just to give it more glamorous look like the wingtip you can see the eye over here and the one on the on my right 
it just takes transforms to look from the day to the evening to the night and I will just finish off the second eye as well and I will come back so there you are I just uh, went and I finished my eyeliner and there you go you can take uh, the look which I did from really like morning to night it's just like that I know it's not ideal to try to do your eyeliner uh, after you've done your mascara but honestly if you just want to do the wing tip you can just start from the edges and then just take the well in this case you can use something which has a sturdy tip like this yeah it's not a brush it is it is a bit softer on the tip but uh, this is body shop liquid eyeliner so yeah you can you can totally make it work with this uh, as i did it in front of you uh, it's very easy once you get start getting your hand on start always from the edge uh, try to get your uh, wing tip and then move in a bit inside to get the line fine um so that's how you take your look from uh, morning or daytime to evening and a bit of a glamour, glamorous look for the night. Um, I could also show you a tutorial on how me as a flight attendant would do my um, hair like on a daily basis. So let's start with that. I would usually do like a parking on a side just like that and then get a scrunchie very simple get my hair on the side nice and neat away from my face you can have a side bang or you can have a front bang as well but it, it shouldn't be touching your eyebrows like it should if it's a front bang it has to be above your eyebrows for me I do like a side bang so I side sweep it I try to make it a bit more fluffy from here so I will pull it up you can do it a bit later as well you can get get the scrunchie in place first and just like that a bit lower so it sits neat because we have a hat to wear for our uniform which I will show you so I try to get it uh, nice volume from here and side sweep my bag just like that i would actually use hairspray or a hair cream when i'm when i'm going for work you can use it depending on what kind of hair you have i will use these u pins and i will try to hold it hold my ponytail here and take the rest of the hair and turn it turn it like that and then with the first turn the whatever hair I have I'm just gonna try to get the u-pin in use as many u-pins you like to secure it in place because the first turn is where you have to make sure it's properly secured turn it a second time or the third time depending on how long are your hair and as you go you need to put the u-pins to secure the bun in place I don't know once I finish this how am I gonna be able to show you how it really looks like from the back but I will try my best but this shouldn't take more than two three minutes for you to do your hair this is the most basic hairstyle we do when we are in a rush I have this small pins that I can use I can use up to four of these to secure any flyaways usually because I have a lot of baby hair all around you can use it to secure this and from my bun you can see it's 
not perfect but you have to use like a hairnet like this and put it around your bun like that and just secure it with another you pin you can definitely use this look for your interview because it is very basic and very neat and very easy to do so you don't have to worry about if you're going on your interview how your hair would look like because this is a very standard hairstyle pretty acceptable everywhere all the flyaways and all the setting you have to do you can use a hair cream or you can use the hairspray so here we go this is what my hair would look like I don't know honestly how it looks like but this is how I would usually do it yeah it's still neat and in place and looks neat uh, we can use either the pearls or the stone earring I'll try to wear the stone it's almost evening over here it's like oh, 6 30 so there you go that's your look for your interview or you can just let your hair down and um, you can um, make it into a party look that's the makeup how it looks like all right so that was me guys uh, giving you all the tips and tricks of how to do your makeup from the day to the evening and um, also some hairstyles of course that was very basic what I did um, but as we're gonna gonna move forward we're gonna always have more tips and tricks of how to do your makeup do you do your hair um, I think you'd like to know about how to apply for uh, becoming a cabin crew what are the qualities they're looking for uh, forward for if they are if they want to hire you how to prepare for your interviews how to do your makeup your hair um, what kind of formal clothes you may be required to wear uh, for your interview or anything any question that you, you might come across in your mind about uh, flight attendants cabin crew makeup skin care hair uh, fitness wellness anything I would love to hear from you if you even um, if you have any suggestions about what I what you like to see next or uh, what I can do better I would love 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 to hear from you like always and uh, please do like share and subscribe if you did find any value in the video I'm gonna sip my cup of tea again and take a break <laughs> before I start cooking for my dinner um, well it's almost dinner time now um, and I will see you next time and uh, till then take care and stay safe mm.